Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Asha, Bahasham Akakwadash. The true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh, who this word ignorantly calls God. The true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Asha, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. And Rakak is through the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and teach well. And peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. I am the brother Yoanathan, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Beach Church. Hey, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. And, you know, the beloved brother Yeshaya from the camp, you know, shared this verse, you know, and it inspired me to make this video, you know, because this is something that. Hey, our people stumble and when i say our people i'm talking about so-called negroes latinos and native americans man and they stumble at the fact that hey, this is not our world you know this is not our kingdom this is not our our rest as the scriptures say all right michael the second chapter in the 10th verse just popped up in my in my mind arise and depart for this is not your rest all right, so the point that I'm trying to make is a lot of our people stumble at the fact that this current world that we live in, it was not made for us to, to live it up on this side, man. All right. It was actually made for the elect. OK, because it's all about the elect. It's all about Yahweh Bashem al is chosen on this side, like the book of Isaiah. And I'm going to let me bring out. Yeah, let me bring that one out. Isaiah chapter one, verse nine. And it reads. Except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. You see? So that very small remnant is talking about the elect. You know? And what happened unto those five cities that got burned by by fire? Okay? Unlike the scriptures say, and saving just a lot. Okay? And his two daughters. And his two daughters. And what happened unto his wife? His wife looked back. She looked back. And she was turned into a pillar of salt. Okay. And why, you know, it's not written, but why did she look back? Hey, because, you know, she had possessions. You see? So that's why the scriptures, you know, uh, real fast. First Corinthians chapter seven. First Corinthians chapter seven and 31. Oh, well, let's start at verse 30. Well, let's start at verse 29. It says, but this I say, brethren, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. You see, so the Apostle Paul, you know, speaking unto those, this was written unto the Israelites in Corinth, in Corinth, Rome. All right. He was telling them the time is short. And this letter written thousands of years ago. So how much more now? And we know that we're living in the last days, right? So again, it says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. All right. Because on this side, our soul focus is supposed to be in this truth. OK. Verse 30. And though it says, and they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. So that's meaning that. You're not going to be intertwined or you're not going to be all caught up in this current world. OK, you see, and it says, and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashions of this world passeth away. You see, so the fashions of this world pass away. Good morning, brother. God bless. You see, so the fashions of this world passeth away, man, you know. And that's why, like the scriptures say, use the world, not abuse it. But our people abuse it. And ultimately, that's why they fall out this ministry. All right, they don't continue. And the real reason is because they are not in the elect. But the point being is what? The point being is that a lot of our people stumble at the fact that the, uh, America is not the end-all, be-all. Okay? This ain't the end-all, be-all, man. All right? So this brings me. So let's go back onto the verse. Because, again, the brother, the beloved brother, all right, Yeshaya, and I suggest, you know, brother, uh, y'all brother subscribe. Brother made very edifying uh, 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 videos. All right. But the verse that he shared was, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 9, verse 11. Envy not the glory of a sinner. 
for thou knowest not what shall be his end. And that's why we're not supposed to be envying the wicked, man. Hey, even my brother in the world, <laughs> you know, shit. I love my brother in the world, man. I mean, I said, I love, nah, I love my brother, man. He in the world. All right, but this is something that he said years ago. He was like, hey, man, you can't be watching or you can't be, you can't look at what people got because you don't know what the hell they do. You don't know what the hell they did to get it, you know? And that always stuck with me, <laughs> you know? So, and the point that I'm trying to, the point that I'm trying to make is a lot of these people have sold out, okay? A lot of these people are miserable. If you're not in this truth, think about it. The, the men that are serving Yahweh Bashim al Shah, all right, are righteously miserable. How much more a person that's in the world, okay? They're terribly, terribly miserable, man. You see? So it says, delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. But remember, they shall not go unpunished until their grave, you see? So they're not going to go and punish. So delight not. And uh, it says delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. You know? So that's why we're not supposed to be in the spirit of this world, man. You know, like the elder apostle Tahar made the lesson. And elder, the elder apostle Gabar land back to his lesson. We were called unto, unto this truth to suffer. Okay? We were called... And unto this ministry to suffer for Yahweh Shah. We have been called to suffer. And those that do not want to continue to suffer, they what? They fall out. Okay? But we were called to suffer in this thing. Hey, the scriptures speak about enter ye at the straight gate. Okay? Also the book of also the book of what? Also the book of um or second Ezra. Second Ezra speaks about what? It speaks about uh, how the angel told Ezra about, you know, how one man could pass through that one time. Lord willing, we could bring that one out. All right. So the point being is a lot of ear because you know not the scriptures. Hey, the leaders of this people caused them to ear, caused them to, to be led astray, you know? And that's why it's very important for teachers. That's why it's very important for this world will call it OGs, okay? Which is through, but that's why it's very important that you have teachers, man. Like the scriptures say that ye must be taught again, you know? Because this world doesn't have the truth, man. This world don't got it. These pastors in these churches don't got it, man. Okay? Matthew chapter 7. In verse 13, it says, enter ye at the straight gate. And what does that mean, straight gate? That word straight, right, is going into a position of difficulty. And that's and that difficulty is when you are in this truth, okay? For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be go, it says, and many there be which go, in their at see and also matthew the 13th chapter speaks about how you know this truth is like a net that gathereth all kinds so a lot of men get called but like the scriptures say for many are called and few are chosen and we're praying to you how about shemal shah that we be the chosen all right we be the selected few that you how about shemal shah has mercy upon to receive a to, to receive salvation right before the destruction that will come past this place man okay and it says verse 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life you see so this is this way is what leads leads unto life this position of difficulty so this life that we live in you know this life of a uh, uh, pain this life of a uh, 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 misery will ultimately be worth it at the end man Right? Even uh, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, speaks about how the things here are temporal, man. You know, the things which are seen are temporal. Real quick. Second Corinthians 4 and 18. Or let's start at verse 16. For which cause we faint not, 
But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. You see? So the inward man is being renewed day by day. Okay? Though the outward man perish. Though we take these quote-unquote L's because at the end of the day, we, we, hey, we don't take L's in this truth, man. You know? <laughs> Every, you know, any quote-unquote L is a lesson. You know? But it's... But verse 17, it says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. See? So this is compared unto a light affliction. And you got to think about that. Even the book of Ezra, Ezra the ninth chapter, you know, Ezra the ninth chapter real quick, Ezra 9 and 13, it says what? Is, is that the verse... Um, yep, it is. It says Ezra 9 and 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds. And that's why we know we suffer because we sin. All right. We're not going through this for no reason. Hey, we have sinned against you. How about Shemal Shah? It says our it says um, our evil deeds and for our great trespass. What we did unto the Lord was not no light thing, man. So the Lord is having a, a can't even use the words amount of mercy. All right. The Lord is truly having mercy on us, man. OK, so it says, and after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that that our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserved and has given us such deliverance as this. You see? So how about Shema Shah has punished us less than our iniquities deserve, man. So at the end of the day, this is, again, a light affliction going back into what we was just reading, right? Um, let me go back into it. Second Corinthians 4 and 17 again. For our light affliction, which is but worketh for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You know, and these dudes don't even realize that this is a lot of affliction. OK, this is a lot of affliction compared, you know, because hey, the Lord could really the Lord could really do us worse. And Yahweh Basham al has showed us mercy, you know, by giving us this truth, man. You know, shit, shit at work. Um, they have this terminology like use your resources what that means is if you're going through something you know speak out you know there's certain things that these jobs have in place to where you know utilize them that's the point that i'm trying to say and in this truth you know we do have or the lord through the ways of you know the apostles and elders and even giving us an understanding of these scriptures how Bashamal Shah has given us tools, man. So we have to utilize them. Speaking to myself first and foremost, before I started, you know, this lesson, um, I, you know, I started this lesson over a few times, man. You know, and at first I had, you know, demon telling me, "Oh, you forcing the course, nigga. <laughs> you forcing the course. Turn, turn back around and get in your car." You know, because I was doing some exercising. I was doing some exercising fucking Satan. I was doing some exercising and um uh it's a trail. So I was like after I'm done, I'm going to get on this trail and I'm going to make a video cuz I had, you know, the topic the brother shared the prees. Okay? But I had to start it over a few times and I'm like, man, let me stop and pray to you how Bashamal Shah, you know, to give me his you know, his spirit to make the video, man. And Lord willing, the video is at a fine, man. And, you know, the video is continuing on right now. So, hey, man, call Halayim La Yahab Basham Al Shah. We got to use our, our, we gotta use our resources, man. The scriptures speak about praying without ceasing, you know. Also, in, in the uh, first book of James, if any man, uh, if, you know, if any man lacketh anything, let him pray unto Yahab Basham Al Shah, which giveth unto all men, uh, you know, to make the point. All right, so we got to pray. We got to use our resources, man. You got a question, call a brother. You don't know an answer to a breakdown. 
Look up the breakdown on YouTube, man. Why you think the Lord has given us the inner the, the, the unicorn, the internet? Alright? The Lord ain't give us the fucking internet to to, hey, to beat our meat off, man. <laughs> you know, so you know, don't mean to be vulgar, but you know, just being honest. Lord ain't give us the internet to to you know to upload pictures of ourselves on fucking social media. The Lord gave us this internet so we can get this truth. In many ways, man, to the point where right now, if I'm in this wherever state I'm at, I can go on YouTube and watch a breakdown. I could watch a you I could watch a YouTube video and get edified, man. You know, so the YouTube, I mean the internet does the heavy lifting. And I'm all over the place. Let's get back to the point. Alright. So verse 18, while we look at the thing while we look not at the things which are seen. But the things which it says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. OK, so this life is temporary here. Man. That's the point of uh, Matthew, the seventh chapter. All right, we read that. So let's go to the book of because I wanted to make the point. Just want to make these few points. All right. Uh, is this second Ezra? Second Ezra. Second Ezra seven. Second Ezra seven. Starting at verse seven, it says the interest thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as there were a fire on the right hand, and on the left a deep water, and 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 that's exactly how it is in this truth that's what you know you got fire on the you got fire on the right and the deep water on the left and you're walking on that thin line in the middle all right you know i remember the brother said you got to walk on eggshells in this truth man because your how about your mouth shot can kill you you know easier we in this fucking flesh easier said than done okay but you really hey, you have to fear the lord man you have to pray to your how about your mouth shot to continue to have the spirit upon you to fear him, man. All right, because the Lord can do terrible things. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. He even speaks about, that's Hebrews 10 and 31, and it, he speaks about in the book of Job, how the Lord, it says, um, have any have any ever perished being innocent? So you got to think about that. You have cases where Babies have been put to death. You have cases where terrible things that are hap that done unhappen that happen unto people, man. And the scripture says how have no one has perished being innocent. You got to think about that, man. So when you really come to serve the Lord, you have to be ready to put that old man to death, man. You got to be ready to kill off all these things that you done thought. You know? Oh, God is a no, no. God is not all love. God loves, but he hates too. <laughs> you got to be ready for the duality of the Lord, man. You know, you got to be ready to hear the uncomfortable truth, man. And a lot of our people stumble at uncomfortable truths, and that's why they threw. And that's why they getting ready to receive judgment, man. And the uncomfortable truth is that America ain't all ain't, ain't the end all be all. You know, that's an uncomfortable truth. This place ain't the end all be all, man. You know, you still got niggas voting in this place, man. Think about that. You got niggas voting on who the on, on who should be the president. Okay? You got people. Hey, these niggas are done, man. Slock for the ramble. Let's see. Verse uh verse 8. And one, it says, and on and, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man. Go there at once so that's that straight gate and we understand straight means what a position of difficulty man okay it says if this city were now given unto a man for an inheritance if he never shall pass the danger set before it how it says how shall he receive this inheritance okay and it says verse 10 and i said and it says, and I said, it is so, Lord. Then he said unto me, even so, 
it says even so also is israel portion okay so that's like enough to us in this truth man how shall we inherit this and how shall we inherit all the things that the lord is getting ready to set before us if we don't go through that straight and narrow path man if we don't go through that straight gate okay so it is important for us to go through that straight gate man all right this truth is not our this life that we were set before or life set before us was not all about fucking having fun it was not about getting millions of dollars and trying to live next to fucking esau no man all right yeah how about shemal shah it's, it is written in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, in the sixth verse, how the Heavenly Father has set us above everyone, man. The Lord only loves the Israelites. God only loves the Israelites, man. You know, whether you believe this or not, all right, we, we were set to be the head and not the tail, okay? And Yahweh Bashamal Shah has put his ruling class mentality only on the elect, man, because the elect are the elites. The the, the 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 top percent okay so um you know lord willing this lesson was edifying don't want to ramble too much i know i was all over the place a little bit within this lesson but you know the brother inspired me by sharing that verse man to not fucking envy the, or envy not the glory of a sinner man i don't even fucking envy Michael Jordan. I don't envy none of these niggas, man. These niggas are through. The dollar getting ready to fall. And if you want to participate in this fucking world, you will have to be identified through the way of the of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. Which is pursuing to Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 16th verse, man. 17 too. Okay? So this is this this where it all goes, man. You know, and you have to depart from this world mentally, but more important spiritually, because times are gonna get hard. But through them, through the hard times, Yahweh Shah is gonna be with us, man. He's gonna, and he have care for his elect. All right, wisdom and knowledge, and and that's the wisdom and knowledge of the Bible. It's gonna keep us stable, and I believe that, man. You gotta believe this. You know. To say to let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. You know, so Lowell in this lesson was edifying. So, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing unto the hopeful elect. Until the next time, Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwame Allah, Shalom.